my latest project here with the HHO cell. Um, I'm working on making a, uh, a meter basically to, uh, to measure my output here but I wanted to uh, I want the data to be collected with a microcontroller and I want it to be run with a microcontroller. Um, what I got here this is my makeshift um, release release valve relief valve um, used a uh, modified uh, sprinkler head and switched the spring around and so you can see uh, this is full of gas I push this down right here it opens up it allows the gas to dump out when I release it it starts filling up again it's just working on displacement on the inside there um, this line here, that's the output coming off the top of the uh, reservoir. Comes down, comes into the bottom, which is the center piece in there. Uh, there are holes around the, the bottom so the water, the water can uh, enter in. As soon as this release valve up on top is, uh, is open, and all the gas that's inside the center tube escapes out here. Um, right now, it's being it's controlled using just a little electric solenoid here, and um, just got it run over the power supply. I'm using a, from negative 12 to positive 12 to get my 24 for the solenoid, 24 volts. Um, but it's it's right at 800 uh, milliamps to power the solenoid, which is the limit for the negative 12 volt side on the power supply. So. And I probably need either another power supply added to it or um, a bigger power supply that can handle just a tad more amps. Um, so anyways, um, what I'm doing here, I'm just, I've got a switch hooked up to it to engage the solenoid, um, which will eventually just be controlled with a microcontroller and a relay. And um, I'll hit the switch and you'll see it engage on top, goes down, up. And uh, great, huh? And so, basically, what'll happen? I've, I need to add the sensors yet, and I'm still working on a way to do that because of all the frothing here to get it the most from the bubbles, the gas coming through, to get it the most accurate. But the water will travel from somewhere down in here up to about where it's, it presently is. And so, there'll be two sensors. For top and bottom, what will happen as soon as the top sensor is hit, um, then the this will be engaged to allow the gas out of the center tube like that. Bang, it drops out. And as soon as it passes the lower sensor, then it will, the, the release valve closes. And when it passes, when the water level passes that first sensor, a timer starts. When it passes the second sensor, timer stops. And after it passes the second sensor, it starts over again, the cycle again. Drains it, closes, and starts filling again. And um, so I'll calibrate it by, uh, by putting a known, by, by adding water starting at the, at the lower sensor. And as soon as the lower one is touched, then I'll, I'll note exactly how much fluid it takes before the second sensor is triggered and that will be the amount that's displaced for uh, milliliters in each cycle and then I can use that relative to the time it takes to gauge um, the liters per minute of output. Anyway, I um, just thought this was uh, a given update. I hadn't uh, filmed anything for a while or anything related to, uh, to this. But bang, it dumps fast and then fills right back up, displacing. And what we're seeing is pretty smooth until the bubbles start coming out the bottom. And uh, it should be able to put the sensor below that to avoid those bubbles. And then bang, it dumps again. So, there you have it. Thanks.